Hey guys, Blau Madger here. Time for another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. With your host, Blau Madger. There's actually something really cool I want to show you now that, uh, the person we're level synced to leveled up to 70 and I can equip Cannonball again. It's really cool. It's one of the Blue Mage's special abilities, one of their... One of the things that distinguishes them. I just need to get 100% TP first. Might help to give myself a little more haste. Haste? Let us make haste. I can make all the haste I want. Almost there. 84%. Kinda hope this thing doesn't die before I get there. It's a lot harder to do this on uh, imps. Now I don't have enough health. I'll get it on the next one. Give myself a. I'm out of tools. Where are my bags? I must remedy this. need tools to cast ninja abilities. Luckily, you can store them in tool bags. A stack of 99. You can have a stack of 12 tool bags. Alright. Enough of that. Time for the ability. I hope nobody messes this up. I'll be pretty mad if they do. Chain Affinity. Darn you, Dragoon. Alright, let's see. Savage Blade! Bam! Cannonball! I can turn darkness into hallowed light! Thus! Okay, enough making fun of Cecil. But yeah, Blue Mage can make skill chains with himself. They don't do amazing damage, but they can be magic bursted off of as well, although it's pretty much impossible for a Blue Mage to magic burst off of his own skill chain. Black Mages can do that. Of course, magic bursts add extra damage to the spell. Usually it makes it just ignore resistances. As far as I've been able to tell. But yeah. At level 70, Blue Mage can chain Savage Blade. The, uh... Well, it used to be the ultimate sword weapon skill. And, uh, Cannonball, a physical level 70 spell to make light, a level 3 skill chain, which can be magic bursted off of with any fire, uh, let's see, it's fire, wind, light, obviously, and thunder, thunder spells. little nifty thing I can do there. You may be wondering about Headbutt, because I use it a lot. It's a really cool spell. It costs like 12 MP and it's got like a 5 second uh, refresh timer on it. It does a decent amount of damage and it stuns. So, it's one thing that makes Blue Mage is highly desirable for 
things that you need to stun a lot, like Diablos. Yep, us blue mages, we took away them Dark Knight's thunder. Oh my god, that paladin is flashing us! I just now realized that she was doing that for her message. She's an exhibitionist! No, I'm silenced again. Silence bad! Yeah, our white mage got disconnected. Because somebody was working on her cable line or something. So now we have a red mage. Although this red mage hasn't been doing too well at keeping me refreshed. Which means I'm still running out of magic points quite often. Alright, chain five. 289 experience points. Alrighty. I'm still quite far from level 75, but when I get closer, I will be turning the video back on making another episode out of that since so it might not be a big deal anymore since they changed the level cap and they're planning to raise it all the way up to 99 but at least to me it's still a milestone because 75 was the original level cap well not the original original level cap that was 50 way back in the day but as long as the game's been out in America the level cap has been 75 anyway I'm going to end this episode right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other episodes. Give me a thumbs up. Comment me. Tell your friends about it. And I'll see you next time.